One of the challenges with tomato plants at the end of the season is that they have created so much foliage that that tends to attract tomato blight and other fungal infections. These plant actually collapse right after the storm. And now I am going to go in and trim a lot of those leaves to create really good airflow to make sure that the tomatoes have a chance to ripen. And you want to think about being able to see through your tomato plants. So picture yourself as a kind of a wave of air circulating through the plant and making sure that there is nothing really blocking it. So it can help you, your plants dry up quickly after watering, after rain, so you don't get that heavy concentration of humidity. And it's also harder for the fungi to travel from leaf to leaf because essentially there is not a lot of uh, leaf to leaf contact. So it's gonna help your plants thrive, it's gonna make your garden look nicer, and above all, it's really gonna improve the health of your garden. I was very aggressive how I went in and cut just about, about 80% of the leaves. Why? Because this plant is done growing. It's the end of August. We only have about two more weeks before the first frost. So I'm not concerned about this plant doing a ton of photosynthesizing and producing new crops. What I really want right now is to preserve and save the fruit that is already on it. The key for that right now, we're assuming it's hot, is airflow. So that's what I do in terms of airflow here in my garden. And with the tomatoes, it's really a very effective way to prevent blight. <laughs> 